Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's a Sunday afternoon, I'm down at my local marina, this is where my boat is moored and we're going to head out. We've got variable one to three winds, we've had a lot of stormy weather lately and we're going to go out and go and try and get some pot bait and then I might even go and do a few lobster pots as well. As we said we had lots of stormy weather recently, um, obviously the UK got hit with the same storms it's just been a nightmare to try and get out fishing and do the pots. I managed to get out Friday morning, uh, I didn't film that and we had no keeper lobsters. Lots of little lobsters, had about 30 lobsters but they are all undersized so not very good. I didn't manage to bait all the pots up but I'm going to head out, try and get some bait and then we can go and do the pots. So I hope you're going to enjoy this one. Don't know what's going to be in the pots but you never know and I don't know what we're going to catch because no one's been out for a while but hopefully we can hook into a few fish. We're down at the boat now, let's start making our way out there and let's get you some fishing content. Let's do it. everyone we've made it up to the mark unfortunately Tim hasn't bought no scallop frills up so we've got no bait uh, we've only got the feathers I've also set up a squid jig rig with three squid jigs on seeing if we can get some squid and cuttlefish so I'm going to dangle that over the side then we'll start getting the feathers down hopefully hit into a few fish Hello everyone I've got the feathers down and we're into our first fish probably a bream by the way this is going oh yeah look at that guy very vicious vicious head pulls they're great fun the old black bream we've got some squid jigs down we've got three squid jigs on it i'll give you a show of that a little bit later on oh yeah this is going quite well nice little bream this oh that's a nice bream that look at that first fish to start off the session a lovely Cooch's Bream. Check that out. What beautiful colours that has. Lovely reds, lovely blues, lovely pattern. They're exactly the same as Gilded Bream. Well, not exactly the same, but you know, same sort of family. And that is a Kraken. Kraken. Little Cooch's Bream. They're always full of beans. They're so hard to manhandle. But fantastic looking fish that is. What an awesome fish. Beautiful, beautiful Cooch's Bream. Fantastic, nice way to start off the session. Let's get that in the pocket. Let's go get some more. I didn't even realise we were recorded now. I've just gone up for another trip. We've had a lovely, lovely little squid there. Beautiful little squid. Fell victim to the blue lure. Fantastic. Only had it over the side, I weren't even doing anything. And we caught ourselves a squid. Now we've got some bait. You beauty. Let's get this cut up and let's start catching some real bream. Wow everyone, what a fantastic start. We've had that squid there, and we've had that coochers bream in there. What a fantastic looking coochers as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this squid a karate chop. Look how big their eyes are. They're a magnificent looking creature, these squid. They're in here at the moment. It's this time of season that we get them. Those are his two main appendages. He's got one there, and his other main one is there. And he shoots them out, going for his prey. 
like he did our squid jig and then brings them back into those tentacles but what a fantastic looking squid I'm going to give him the karate chop there you go he's gone I'm going to start getting some fish with them oh yeah well everyone we're back up I've got a fish on here it's a nice take on it it's quite heavy it should be a nice black bream or a coochie or something like that It's a nice fish, this one. Back up for the first drift. Oh, it's a nice black. Yeah. Look at that for a black bream. That's an absolute beauty, that is. That's a lovely stamp of bream. Fantastic. Shake him off. Get these squid feathers back down. So all we're using is just feathers, and then all I've done is just tipped off the hooks with squid. Just the easiest way to catch these fish, I find. So, get them down again. Let's get some more. So everyone, I've got really heavy fish on. I don't know if we've well hooked it, but gee whiz. It's going like stink. I don't know if we've well hooked it, but this is going like hell. This feels like a good fish. Like I say, unless we fell hooked it. Jesus Christ! Nice coochies. That is a real nice coochies. That's a beauty, that one. I have to get the net for that one. Ow. That's an absolute beauty. That is a lovely coochie. He weren't coming out, that's for sure. Look at that for a coochie's bream. Nice, fat, solid coochie's bream, that. That is an absolute beauty of a fish. He'll be coming home. And we're on again. Oh, yes. I love this fishing, everyone. I love this sort of fishing. You can't beat it. Elves on the boat, just having fun, light gear, feathers on, a bit of bait. Catching whopper bream like that, eh? What more could you ask for? Whoop! What a fantastic black bream that is. You beauty. Lovely. Fish on. Fantastic fun. Absolutely fantastic one. Come on, bream. They're certainly on the feet now, these black bream. Well on the feet. I'm going to try and get as many as possible because I've got no pot bait. And we're in again. Nice fish. Nice black, I reckon. Certainly put up a good account of itself right at the start. That's a nice one. That is a beautiful black green. Straight back in. Nice, nice, nice bite. Another black green. Well, they're certainly coming up thick and fast now. Yes. Oh, yeah, we got a fish on here. Come up for another drift. Put that squid on as a bait. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Nice little green here, I reckon. Yeah, nice green. Nice, lovely black green there. Fantastic. Get him straight off. Get these back down. I did miss a huge, huge cuttlefish. Got it right up to the surface. It wasn't chasing the squid lures, it was actually chasing the feathers. So a bit gutted about that, but getting the squid lures back down, hopefully we can get into a few of those squid and cockfish. Straight away we're into another fish. Another, another, nice. 
Blackberry. And we're on again. Doesn't feel big, this one. Quite a bit of weight to it, though. I don't know if we felt hooked in. There it comes. Oh, that's not a bad bream. It's a nice bream, that. You beauty. Another nice black bream. Another one down. Need to start racking up some pot bakers. We've got none. got a fish on. <laughs> oh yeah. It's giving a very good account of itself. be a black. Oh, it's a nice one. That is a beauty of a black green. That right there is a beautiful black green. Fantastic. They're starting to come up thick and fast now. Let's get that rod back down and get some more. Just going up for another drift. I just thought I'd bring the squid rod in. I think we might have one on. I'm not 100% sure. There's a little bit of weight there to it. Whether it's a cuttlefish or a squid, I'm not quite sure. Hopefully it's not a bit of seaweed. Definitely weight there. Hopefully it's three squid. Bit of weed. Let's go back up. Well, another fine little bream there. Now I'm going to get it back down for one more drop, and then we're going to start going and do my crab box because time is of the essence. And the gate shuts at half past four, and it's currently ten past three. So, hour and twenty minutes. I'm just going to do the ones up near Herm, and one string down here that I didn't manage to do on the Friday. So let's see if we get one more. And we'll go for those lobsters. That will have any, but we'll give it a good go. Fish on, everyone. Nice. Straight away into another fish. Wind is still quite up. Still a little bit choppy out here on the ocean, but. Not another fine bream, look at that. What more could you want? Beautiful lip hook black bream. All right, we're gonna get this off the feathers and start making our way up to the lobster pots. So everyone, first string. I don't know if we're going to have anything in here. They've been down for two days. We did bait up these five strings. Hopefully they do have something. Hopefully a big giant lobster. Not very good in there. Just a dogfish. So everyone, not very good in there. One small brown crab, and we've got one dogfish. There's the dogfish, we'll be keeping that for pot bait, so it'll be coming with us. And just one small brown edible crab. Oh, he just got my claw, my glove, look. Bugger. He's probably in size, but we're gonna let him back. We only want the giant ones. Right, bait this up, get us to that second set. Go 
go get number two. Everyone, not very good in the second set. First pot, got a black bream. Might as well call them fish pots because we seem to catch more fish. And in the second pot, tiny, tiny bolos. Not very big, but nice to see in the pots. But we don't want that, we want lobsters. So we're going to get him back. Back he goes, straight back down. And bait these up and get onto those other three that are up here. Okay, that's the second set, let's get onto the third. So everyone, we pulled that third string up which is here and it had absolutely nothing in it. So I've baited it up, we're going to play it out and get onto that fourth and fifth set. Fourth set. Now the reason I've got the engine revving is because it helps them. Um, so I've got a little bit of an electrical problem at the moment. So what it does, it just helps my winch by drawing more power into the winch. So that's the whole reason why the engines are revving if you're up wondering. Absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That is poor. So the second pot is also empty. Not very good at all. I don't know what's going on here. These actually have baited. Right, we're going to bait these up and get onto that last set that's here and start making our way up towards the others. Right, let's get on to the last one for up here. Ah. Ah, this is the fifth set off everyone and again we're not good We've got something, but it's not no lobster. That's for sure. There it is. A big, big bolos. Look at him, he's trying to whip me. He's a big bolos. We're gonna throw him in a second. Get a nice release of him. He's about to go now at the back of the boat. Ready? Three, two, one. I nearly got him in the net. What a release. Okay, we'll bake these up and start making our way up to the other pot. Okay, let's get on to these other ones. Let's go. is one small ground crab. One, two. Not very good. Let's get these baited up and get onto the others.
That's set. Number seven. So we just pulled up the seven set and it was the set of inkwells. We had nothing because there was no bait in these pots. So I'm not expecting in any of these last two strings to do. I'm just going to get them done. Then we'll start heading up to the other end. Okay, next set, just in front of us. Missed him. Second pop, nice brown crab. Well, that's going to be far too soft. It's actually not that soft, but we're going to let it go. It's a nice female, lovely, lovely female. We'll let that go. There's also another small brown crab in here, just a little tiny one. We're going to chop this back, get onto that last set, and then head towards home. Let's do it. Well everyone, we made it safely back to port. I'm sorry, but the camera ran out of battery. I'm using the last little bit. It's a, I've got about 2% just to do the outro. We had no lobsters, no crabs. I hope you enjoyed the fishing adventure and we'll catch you next time. It's Danny from Inglorious. Sorry about the intro, we got no battery. See you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Love you all.